So good evening to all of you. We just had the 11th ministerial meeting of the accession conference with Serbia. I'm proud to have Madam Minister here beside me. Enlargement policy is very high of our presidency's agenda. We consider the enlargement to be a strategic investment, strategic investment in peace, stability and development in Europe. We have been working with uh, enlargement throughout our presidency. In November Council, we confirmed our firm European perspective of the Western Balkans, EU's commitment to the Western Balkans, our active engagement and the support for the reform work in the countries in question. And today, uh, in the General Affairs Council, we received Commission information on the next steps in strengthening the accession process. Commissioner Varheli provided that information. And as President of the Council of the European Union, I'm pleased to conclude our semester with accession conference with Serbia. This is very important for me personally and for our presidency. So today I'm very proud to announce that we opened chapter four, free movement of capital. Thank Minister Joksimovic. Glad that we could record this result in our negotiations. I consider that this is a strong and positive signal to the whole of the region. We have now opened altogether 18 chapters out of uh, 35 with Serbia. So we have been proceeding in good pace. Two of the 18 have been provisionally closed. Of course, there are still many issues to uh, conclude. Rule of law and fundamental rights are key in moving ahead on the EU path. I'm stressing this very heavily. It is crucial for Serbia to demonstrate stronger political commitment to the rule of law reforms. Progress in this area will be closely followed. Another very topical issue is the normalization of the relations with Kosovo. It's also a very essential matter. So dear friends, EU will continue to work closely with Serbia with view to further results. So there's much to gain on both sides, especially when I think about the most important, namely our young people, our youth, the next generations. I would also like to thank Commissioner Varhi for his active particip participation today. So to conclude, I wish the new commission and of course the incoming Croatian presidency all the best in taking the EU enlargement policy forward. You certainly have our support in this work. <laughs>